This is EVGA's brand new SC17. The reason why I say brand new is of course, it has been refreshed for Q3, Q4 of 2016. Now we're gonna be doing a full benchmark review of this, including our gaming laptops worth it. But because I wanted to do an unboxing, we kind of have to do that first. Water cooling parts for Skunk Works were provided by Performance PCs. For the largest online selection of PC modding and water cooling parts, head to performancepcs.com. It's not much more satisfying in this world than the sound of ripping that plastic on new electronics. Let's call this like a sights and sounds of a Jay's unboxing. Oh yeah. And there we go. There's actually a little dent on the box right there. I hope it's, uh, hope it's okay. So real quick, this thing's actually kind of weighty. Let's talk about the specs in this guy. The panel is a 17.3 inch UHD panel. That is a 3840 by 2160 resolution, also known as well, UHD, it's not a real true 4K, but you get what I'm saying. It's a non-glare type screen. Unfortunately, it's still a TN panel. Uh, it's not an OLED or any of that stuff. So, yeah, that's future stuff, but we'll get there. The core of this thing is an i7-6820HK running at 2.7 gigahertz. So that's four cores, eight threads in this bad boy. It is an unlocked CPU, so we can actually overclock this. And that's one of the things we'll look at moving forward here too. The GPU in this is a full GTX 1070. It is not a shaved down core. It is not a mobile core. It is a full blown 1070. Now for RAM, we have 32 gigabytes, 16 st gigabyte sticks times two of GDDR4, and it's running at 2666, and it's G-Skill memory. And of course, it's got 256 gigabyte M.2 NVMe uh, PCIe SSD, and it's got a one terabyte 7200 RPM storage drive, and it is, it is running Windows 10. All right, guys, the moment you have all been waiting for where Jay drops his laptop. Okay, presentation's pretty good. Uh, we have got the laptop right here in a nice protective bag, which is always nice to see. Let's go ahead and start with the accessories here. You have got, of course, your SC17 gaming user manual. It really should just have big, bold words that say, play shit, like literally, just play some stuff. I mean, what else do you really need to know? Uh, it also has right here, it appears we have a USB to USB type C adapter on there. He's actually right behind the back. And it also has analog three and a half millimeter plug uh, to a single three and a half millimeter. So you can use your favorite headphones on a uh, single jack. So it also means you can use things like your favorite earbuds or whatever you might use when you're on the go. So you don't have to be switching around headphones because you guys know that they have a separate plug while well, they got the adapter as well. So here are the power bricks. Well, power brick, I should say. It's nice and flat. I like this because it's gonna lay down flat in a backpack. It's not a big, thick, giant uh, brick that you would see, like kind of like I have with my Asus uh, G751, uh, G751 JK. I think that's what it's called, whatever. And then of course you've got your other end of it right there. There's not a whole lot in here, which is kind of nice. There's not a whole lot of, of fluff in the box, if you will. This is the part we care about right here. Now EVGA recently started dabbling in the whole laptop slash notebook slash gaming uh, notebook market. And how does a company that has been in business now since 2001, actually it's 99, but I digress. So here it is right here, but how's a company that has been known for making graphics cards that now makes motherboards and peripherals actually do when it comes to laptops? Well, as you can see, this thing is extremely just simple. And I like that. It is an all aluminum case right here. There is no plastic on this thing with the exception of maybe the grill right here for the fans. You can see it pulls air in here and then exhausts it there. So again, you wanna be mindful of using this on your lap because you don't wanna overheat the thing, but plenty of vents, all metal, I like that. Even the torque screws that are used on this thing are machined and they look fantastic. Wow, I mean, EVGA has put a lot of effort into this. Oh, also too, you have a massive rubber pad right here and also too on the front. So this thing is not gonna go sliding around on you. And then on the top right here, of course, you have the EVGA logo. So underneath right here, we have another little protective thing for the keyboard. It is a backlit keyboard. We'll go ahead and power this thing on and see if there's any battery juice in there at all. Nope, looks like I'm gonna have to plug it in. 
Now on the right side of the laptop here, of course you have a Kensington lock, you have two USB 3.0s, and then of course you have the 3.1 type C plug that you can use for an adapter right there for whatever else you might want to use. Um, one thing I wanna note though, is this does not have an optical drive in there. So EVGA has gone the way of, well, done away with optical drives in an effort to make this as thin as possible. You've got speakers right here on the front that face you, which is nice, they're right in front of you, so they're not back here by the monitor, they're not underneath the monitor or anything like that. And then of course we do have backlighting on the keyboard. I'm not sure if the camera's actually picking it up. It is white backlighting. Yeah, the, the keys are a nice feel. They're flat though, they're not domed and they're not dished. They are flat keys, so you have to get used to typing on this like any other laptop. And then of course, on the left-hand side right here, we have got our LAN port, uh, HDMI output, and two mini display ports on there. Now one thing I wanna mention real quick is the screen is an anti-glare coating. And as you can see, because I have got a lot of lights and stuff right here, you can see that uh, it is not a glossy finish. So this is gonna be nice. Um, I've had laptops in the past that have had glossy screens and although they make the colors pop better, it also, the glare just really sucks. So anyway, yeah, there's that. One other thing I wanna show you too is that the EVGA logo does in fact light up. That's a neat little feature right there. It's just, it's not like in your face. It's just a nice, simple, white backlit logo right there. Looks phenomenal. Now I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of details regarding the performance of this guy yet because I will be doing a full scale review on this guy. Uh, but I just want to talk about kind of a few things. The, um, one of the things I don't like about this finish and I kind of haven't liked is as you can probably see, finger, skin oils get really attracted to this kind of a matte finish and it looks dirty quickly. Same thing with the keyboard and same thing with the wrist pad. But it's one of those things where if, you know, if, if you're gonna go with black, it's just something you've gotta deal with. And I'm glad they didn't go with the way of silver. It would have looked way too Apple MacBook-like. But in terms of the form factor, the weight, it's a little bit heavy, but we'll talk more about that in uh, the full review. But when you've got a full metal chassis like this guy right here, you need to expect it to be weighty. I mean, that's just, that's just, the, that's, it's just gonna happen. That is all for today. Now, I know not all of you like unboxing videos, and I, I kind of like the experience of opening something new and taking it out of the box. I think we all do. So for those of you that do like it, and I also put a poll up on Twitter, and it was pretty overwhelmingly in favor of doing unboxings, as long as they're followed up with a review, which I am, of course, going to do a full-scale review. Uh, thank you guys for watching today's video. Now, here's where you guys come in. I need something from y'all. Yeah, I said y'all, I'm from California, deal with it. I need you guys to tell me what kind of tests you want me to put this thing through. I plan on doing a rendering test because one of the things I wanted this laptop for is mobile rendering. And when I'm doing 4K stuff like now, the 32 gigabytes is definitely gonna help. It, I could still use 64, but 32 is going to help. The 1070, of course, being a full scale 1070 and overclockable, we want to check out games. Let me know what games you guys want me to check out and what kind of tests you want me to do. I've never done a full scale laptop review, so I'm curious as to what it is you guys want to see. Anyway, give this video a like if you liked it. Let me know, guys, vote. Let me know if you like these unboxings and if you want me to do more because I want to listen to the audience on this one and see what you guys have to say. The majority wins. So if you don't vote, you don't count. Just like the election coming up, I guess, but that's, oh, I'm not even gonna go near that thing with a thousand foot pole. It's time to go, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna get my Steam library on here and start playing some games. In the meantime, tell me what you guys wanna see. See you in the next one.